you gotta wake up, you can't trust hoes. I like money, I like money too, but get drunk, make money, then get drunk. And as soon as I got clarity on what I wanted, I knew exactly what I wanted in life. That is when. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Can I get a wall? Whoa! Can I get another wall? Whoa! Give me another one? Whoa! Call the ambulance! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily motion channel. Today it's a vlog. It's a vlog. Ignore my nails, okay? I'm going out. It's my friend Clarissa's birthday. I'm gonna wave my hair. I thought I would film this because I knew I would get questions on it and on my private account I had wavy hair the other day and everyone was like, how did you do that? Well, I use a hair waver. Listen to this. What's new with me? What's new with you first? Why don't you tell me? Kidding. Oh, you can't talk back. But tell me in the comments. In previous vlogs and videos, I mentioned how I feel like a new person and I just feel super happy and content at the moment. And it's really weird because this year was really, really rough for me actually. And lockdown was hard. Somehow I came out of it. It made me such a stronger person and I realized I can do anything. And I'm just so powerful. In lockdown, I had no purpose. I felt like, I don't know, I had no zest for life. I felt like a literal walking dead person. And then I was like, that's it. Don't know what's going to happen from here. I don't really know what shifted. I think slowly, I just started to come out of it. And then now I'm looking at my life and I'm so happy and I have like nearly everything I've ever wanted and I've just never felt this way before. And it's such a foreign feeling to me because I wouldn't say I've ever felt happy and I'm just so afraid that it's all gonna go away. It feels like everything in my life is finally falling into place. And it kind of goes to show that you never know when you're going to come out of something because I would wake up every day and be like, today's the day, I'm gonna come out of whatever I'm going through and it just wouldn't happen. And then slowly, very slowly, I just came out of it. And then looking back, I'm like, when the fuck did this happen? And ever since then, it feels like all of my manifestations have been coming true. And I know a lot of you think of manifesting like, oh, I'm just gonna write down what I want and then like visualize every day. I don't really manifest like that. I just speak things into existence. I'm very careful with my words. I know that everything I say, it's going to come true. This is how I know feeling is the secret because I just feel so fucking happy. And then slowly I started to attract the right people into my life. I attracted more money. I attracted all the right opportunities. I think you really just have to trust the process and trust time and know that whatever you're feeling now, like this too shall pass and it will make you a stronger person and it's never the end. You have to see the positive in every situation. That's what I try to do at least. When something's really bad, I'm like, okay, what is the lesson I can learn here? I need to listen to like a forehead shrinking supplemental or something. Hi sisters! Ah! Guys, I'm running so late. I don't like my hair. This is my outfit. It's so black. I need more color in my wardrobe. Um, it's actually a really nice bodysuit from Revolve, but I don't got time to speak. I gotta go. I'm running so late. My room is a mess. Oh my God. after the night before i have a crazy call this morning it's catching up with an old friend okay this is another story about the universe but basically my new manager i was stalking her on linkedin and i saw she liked this post about a girl who got a job at emma chamberlain's coffee company and i looked at the name and i was like that name is so familiar and it turns out it was this girl i was friends with when we were literally six years old in primary school and I DM'd her and we reconnected. Literally works at YouTube. It's just insane. You see, when you're on this high vibe, the universe be bringing the right people to you. And I, I don't know, it's just, it's so insane how we reconnected. And she lives in LA now. Fuck lighting. Doing a face mask and listening to my money playlist. <laughs> Who 
says you can't have fun alone? I don't know. People. People say that. Not me though, because I'm a fun, independent queen. <laughs> if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. It's a Wednesday, it's nine o'clock. I just finished Gilmore Girls. I'm a little bit emotional. Oh, 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 you also, I accidentally ripped my mask, so. Because I'm so depressed about Gilmore Girls and I told you earlier about how I feel like my life is going really good and I'm manifesting my dream life, but I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I said that, I feel like I've triggered a spiral downwards. <laughs> I think that's so normal though. I know this is life. Say the V, you cannot be happy all the time. I always talk about affirmations, manifestation, blah, blah, blah. When I'm like really down in the dumps, I listen to affirmations. By the way, thank you to Self Force for sponsoring this video. I have been using them for like the past week and it's so great because they have all of these different categories. For example, academic, weight loss, professional, stress, children, health, self-love. So they have very tailored affirmations for you and it just helps to visualize, which I really like. Ready and willing to believe. I am ready and willing to believe that I am enough. All of my effort is good enough. All of my effort is good enough. Anyway, the reasons why affirmations are so important, it's because sometimes when you feel like nothing is going right or you have these intrusive thoughts or beliefs, affirmations can really help to reprogram that. I really wish I knew about this app during school because <laughs> I would have better grades, even better grades. Regularly practicing mindfulness is super important and I know you all are into manifestation so I highly recommend downloading this app and trying it out yourself. You can use my link below, it is free but there is a premium version if you want to unlock other content and I think you're going to love it because I bloody love it. The next day. Something I've realized is that an abundance mindset is really rare. And I don't know why I thought this, but I kind of just thought everyone had an abundance mindset. And I think that's why most people in life literally aren't successful. Only a few people are super wealthy because not everybody goes for their dreams. And Jamie and I were just talking about this, about how people going for their dreams is so rare. And a lot of the times, your dreams are more feasible than you actually think. You kind of just have to go for it. Like, she was saying how everyone told her how crazy she was for like moving across the world randomly or just doing things that aren't generally considered normal or like what you should be doing. And she was like, the more people told me I shouldn't do it, the more I knew I had to do it. And I was like, that's exactly how I feel. So that's why I literally cannot surround myself with people who think small. I feel like right now, before I didn't know what I wanted in life, especially when I was in my relationship, when I came out of it for the first six months, I was lost. Didn't know where I was going. So nothing was manifesting. Manifesting being nothing was unfolding in the way it should have been. And as soon as I got clarity on what I wanted, I knew exactly what I wanted in life. That is when things started to happen. Certain people came into my life, certain opportunities presented itself. I slowly started getting out of my hole and then everything was on the right track. It's just a snowball effect. Yeah, I think when you want to manifest your dream life, you kind of just have to figure out exactly what you want and then start working towards it. When you take the first steps, even if you don't know what the first step is, it will just unfold. It slowly starts to unfold. I want to be a billionaire. I'm gonna show you my new dress from Revolve because I don't think I showed you yet. I got it in a smaller size. It was in one of my other vlogs though. I'm gonna wear this in Europe. Yesterday, I learned a really important lesson. Don't trust hoes. It was a wake up call. It was a wake up call because I'm very trusting. And then the universe was like, Simone, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up, you can't trust toes, you can't be telling people everything. Anyway, the lesson in that is, whenever something is seemingly bad, you can either interpret it as, oh, this is bad, or you can look for the deeper meaning to it. Whenever something happens to me, I think, what is the meaning of this? What can I learn from it? And what I took from it was that this is a warning. I can't tell you exactly what it is, 
but it was a warning. Hey guys, it's a new day. It's actually night time. I'm not looking very slay at the moment. I'm actually looking a little disgusting because I've been working all day and it's the end of the day, but I just got a skincare package, paid for this with my own money, not sponsored babes. So I thought I would do a little unboxing. Bravo, I broke my pencil. Da, 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 da. Okay, oh my god, look at all of the masks I got. Holy crap. So I got it from this website called Style Vana, and the masks are fairly cheap. These are like $1 each. Usually they're like $3 to $5, but they were $1 each. So I got a bunch of different ones. So I do use the skincare products yours, which is all here. This is what I use, but they run out, obviously. And they only send me a package when I have to do a sponsored video. So when I run out of their products, this is what I use. I use my V10 cleansing bar. I got a new serum, which is the Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. I've heard wonderful things about this. Also, I use this Miracle Toner. When I don't use this toner, I actually break out. And I've been using this Hyaluronic Acid. Then I got this random eye cream. It was like $10. The eye cream I actually use is the intensive power firming eye cream from Maison. also something i found which really helped my skin was this it's a led light mask and you just you should you see me wear it quite often i was talking about making a list of things which make you unhappy because people say you should make a list of things that make you happy. So when you're unhappy, you can just do these things. But I actually think it's so much better to just write a list of the things which make you unhappy so you can immediately avoid it instead of making yourself unhappy then having to do those happy things. Right. That's my advice. Each other. The world would be a better place to live. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Ah, 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 